Hi everybody, my name is Jen and this is a video tutorial on how to paint my favorite Farmer Daisy design. So welcome again. First we're going to go over some basic things, things you're going to need, how to get prepared, and step-by-step -step instructions. To begin, you're going to go to your local craft store and you're going to be looking for all-purpose enamel paints, specifically for glass. Some of them might be multi-purpose, some of them might be specifically for glass. You can tell on the top, uh, usually there's a picture indicator, it'll either have an E on it or a little wine glass. Uh, the colors you're going to need are yellow, orange, red, a gold uh, copper metallic, black, blue, and green. Now brushes. You may have some brushes at home. In my example here that I'm showing you today, I'm going to use two round brushes, one square, and an angle. Um, if you just have a couple of round brushes, you're more than welcome to just use those and you'll have the same desired effect. Um, I certainly wouldn't want you to have any, have any added cost by going out and um, buying a paintbrush that you might not need. So what you're going to do is you're going to have your wine glasses and you need to prepare your glasses. You don't need to do anything uh, or purchase anything special. It's really just you're putting rubbing alcohol on cotton balls and you're going to wipe down the outsides and the bottoms of every single wine glass. And we're just going to wait about uh, maybe two minutes, three minutes, and then we'll be ready to begin painting. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the yellow. Some people um, might be brand new to painting. Um, and if you are, um, a lot of times it's just really learning technique and a lot of people don't know that you hold a paintbrush uh, typically like you're holding a pencil. So here's a picture of my hand and it's really just showing you that you're going to be placing your finger um, about an inch or a little bit more from the tip of your paintbrush. So what we're going to do is we're going to practice with the yellow and we're going to be making our little petal strokes. So you see here, I had painted three. Uh, once you're comfortable, you're ready to begin on the glass. So we're gonna start with the yellow. We're gonna paint one side of the glass. You'll see here, I start with one petal and then I'll do the opposite. Then I'll continue on doing the same brush stroke uh, just um, on the different corners. And then once I'm done, I'll have a total of six. And I'm gonna do this on the opposite side as well. So I've got a Farmer Daisy on each side of my wine glass. Now here, what I want to do is make sure that it completely dries. This is going to be about five to 10 minutes. Now the reason we want it to dry is because our next colors, uh, we're going to be painting over top and we just don't want any of the paint to get smudgy. All right, now we're ready to add the orange and the red for each petal. Now you'll see in this picture here, I was using a square brush. I have, um, and I would dip one color in one side and one on the other, and I would just use a continuous stroke. Now you don't have to do it that way. As you can see here, um, if you just have a regular paintbrush, you would just begin by painting the orange stripe first and then the red second, and you continue on all of your flowers. So you'll see here we do one, then the next, then the next, and when we're done, on the right hand corner you can see here it's all starting to come together. So what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be using the copper metallic, and it's fine if you had gold metallic as well, just something a little shimmery, uh, just for the center of our farmer daisy. So we're going to paint a big circle and we're going to overlap our yellow petals. So it's okay. We just want to make sure we have a, a pretty big size circle. Um, we're going to do this on all of our flowers. 
Now we're going to let this completely dry as well. We're going to give this about five minutes. The reason we're doing that is because we're going to be painting our next step and we're going to be painting over top of the copper. So again, we just don't want our paint to get smudgy. Alrighty. So right now we're going to be painting the green. Now in my demonstration here, I have an angle brush, but it's totally fine if you have a different brush as well. And what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be practicing our leaves. And you can see here, it's a fair amount of paint, but it's one continuous stroke. Now I want you to practice this on paper a few times and just to get comfortable, to make sure you have the right amount of paint that you'd like on your paintbrush. And uh, once you practice a couple of times, we're ready for the glass. Now here, we're going to paint a green, a green leaf on each side of the glass between each of the flowers. There we go, beautiful. And then if you flip over your glass, you're going to see where you'll overlap the green a little bit. So it just gives a really nice aesthetics. Um, it's the leaves overlapping and it's just really pretty. Kind of brings everything together. All right, so now our copper has had a chance to dry and now we're ready for black. So I'm switching to a smaller brush and I'm gonna be just painting, uh, practice doing these strokes. And they're just little, like, little tiny strokes, like you're just getting ready to make a little baby triangle, uh, but we're just doing two sides of it. So you're gonna practice this pattern. And once you're comfortable, we're ready for glass. Here we go. We're gonna paint one side of each glass, then paint the second side of each glass. You'll see here that once you're done, it'll look like that. Now we're going to continue with the black, but we're gonna be creating some black petals. Now, this is one long stroke. So it's one stroke for one side of the petal, and then a second stroke for the opposite side of the petal. And you can see here, we're gonna practice on paper, but I wanted to demonstrate for you. You can see here, uh, one and then the next. Um, it's completely fine to go over top of your petals. We're certainly not tracing anything. Um, it's just gonna give it a really nice wow effect. And once you're comfortable, we're ready to move to glass. Now this is what it looks like when we're moving to glass. And it's okay if your brush strokes are a little bit thicker than mine. Um, yours will look fabulous because you're gonna use your own pressure. So you're going to have your own, your lines will look very similar. So you're going to continue this on all of the flowers. And right now this is what your flower should look like in the lower right hand corner. All right, let's add some dots. We're going to paint on both sides of each glass too. So for painting dots, there's a lot of different ways that you can do this. I prefer myself to use just a very small paintbrush. I have some very tiny ones, um, but some people, if they have the opposite end of a paintbrush, they like to do dots that way. Um, I even have other people who prefer to use a toothpick. Um, there's no right or wrong way. Uh, whatever you feel would make the nicest dots, uh, go for it. Uh, right now we're ready for some blue. We're going to paint the bottom of each glass. We're actually going to apply two coats. Now look how fantastic everything is. Your glasses should look like this. Ah, awesome. Are they ready to use? Almost. So we're going to let them dry for 24 hours. And then we have two options. So option one is you can let everything air dry for 21 days and then you, your glasses are completely ready to use. Um, you can hand wash them. It's completely fine. The paint is cured on the glasses. Now option two, after 24 hours, you can place them down on a cold cookie sheet into a cold oven. Now on the back of your paint, uh, depending on your brand, it might be a little difference in temperature, but you're going to preheat your oven uh, to the temperature that it says 
on your paint. It could be 325 or 350, it depends on the brand. Um, and then your cook time will be anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. So after that's done, don't peek. You're just gonna turn your oven off and you're going to wait for your oven to cool down. And that will, oh, it'll probably be about five to six hours. Then your glasses are completely ready to use and enjoy. Um, they're all ready. It's just like you just did a little baby kiln in your house. So um, it is fantastic. And you're all done. You've created a beautiful design and you painted just like a pro. So if you're ever in the New York 518 area and you'd like to book a part B, uh, please check out my website. It's www.artistjenniferclair.com. Um, I also teach locally at a couple different restaurants uh, for Tuesday Not Your Average Paint and Sips. Um, and this is one of my favorite designs that often um, appears. So enjoy and just be creative. Thanks.